This video is not sponsored by Rhino Shield, but by Black Friday Rhino Shield. Protect your phone and your AirPods with some amazing collections and have up to 60% off on the entire website and an additional 10% off with the code SuperKevinTran. everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Bros. Today, your favorite duo has grown up a little bit. We are no longer 4 and 0, but I am 7 and Henry is 3. Let's go! So, last time, if you remember, our bedroom looked like this. And as Henry grew up, my parents got rid of his cradle bed. But instead of buying him a new one just like mine, they dropped my bed too! And they replaced everything with bunk beds. Their explanation was, because I started to get more homework from school, I needed a desk to study. And we were severely lacking space. Once again, it was a problem that I only had to face because of his existence. The thing is, we didn't even get the chance to choose our bunk beds. If you're gonna throw everything in your kid's private space without their consent, at least replace it with something cool, right? I mean, look at those beds I found online. You got a huge boat, an ice cream truck, this one has a slide. But we got the basic metallic prison beds that my dad assembled himself. Do you like it? Huh? What is this shit? The first night, we had the classic dispute. Who's gonna sleep on top, and who's gonna sleep at the bottom? As kids, of course, we both wanted to be upstairs. So my parents had to settle the debate. And it went in my favor. They knew that if Henry was on top, I would have just played soccer with him all night long. So they used a little trick to convince him. Honey, bunk beds are very dangerous when you're on top. We don't want to see you fall and get injured, okay? Wait, what? So if I fall and hurt myself, you don't mind! I see who's your favorite now! Overall, I had great memories with those bunk beds. I could go up and down and up again and repeat the cycle for hours. Every time I climbed the ladder, I felt like a superhero. Kevin! Kevin! Oh! Oh, wait! Henry! Behind you! There's a truck of mine! Henry! No! Kevin, help me! Catch me with both hands! I, I can't! <laughs> Another great point of being on top was, every time we forgot to do something outside the room, Henry was the one who went to fix it. Because I had the best excuse ever. Oh no, we totally forgot the kitchen lights. You're the closest. What about Mr. Bamboo you left outside? You're the closest. But it's always me who goes. Why don't you get down for once? You're taking advantage of me and I'm fed up. You're welcome. Mm. Every evening before going to sleep, I used to hide some stuffed toys under my blanket just to be able to throw them at Henry's face. And when we were not fighting in real life, we were fighting in our minds. Our favorite game of all time was to close our eyes and imagine we were battling each other in Dragon Ball. <laughs>
And she needs rest, okay? <sighs> Don't make me say it twice. <sighs> it was so much fun every night. But then, something happened. <sighs> what I'm about to tell you guys is very embarrassing. I would like to preface it by saying, I don't know why I did that. I was seven, and sometimes at this age, you're just stupid. Once, in the middle of the night, I woke up because I wanted to pee. And for whatever reason, I was really tired. The simple idea of stepping down the ladder, going to the bathroom, and climbing back up was exhausting me even more. So I did what I did. <laughs> First of all, why are you judging me? Think about all the f***ed up stuff you did as a child. This ain't even bad, okay? Plus, I really thought that by the morning, it would be dry, so my parents wouldn't know. I neglected the smell. <laughs> That's the part I forgot. Kevin. <laughs> Tell me the truth. This is your last chance. I know it's you. Henry would have never been able to pee that much. No! Don't look at me! A few months after this incident, we left our neighborhood to move to a bigger house in Paris. And we got two separate rooms. I wouldn't say that I missed those bunk beds. But if you have siblings and never experienced this, I think you've definitely missed out on something. Hey, it's me again. I hope you guys like this bit. If you enjoyed the Dragon Ball fight between my brother and I, you'd surely love the new Dragon Ball Z phone and AirPods cases from today's sponsor, Rhino Shield. On their website, you can find new One Piece, League of Legends, and NBA products. It is also possible to customize the Naruto Shippuden and the Harry Potter designs with your name. I personally have a preference for these Shenron and Boo cases, as I played the character once three years ago. During Black Friday, you can have up to a 60% discount on the entire website. And with the code SuperKevinTran, you can get an additional 10% off during 48 hours. What? You love Marvel and Star Wars? Guess what? New designs just came out. What an amazing coincidence. All you have to do is to click on the link in the description. Enjoy.